Hey guys, welcome back. Today's interesting topic is about implementation of a Boolean expression using universal gate. So I'm going to take some Boolean expression and implement using two input NAND gate or NOR gate. So let's take Boolean expression and implement using universal gate. So before going to the example, I want you to remember that SOP can be easily implemented using NAND gate and POS can be easily implemented using NOR gate. Okay, don't forget this one. So now let's take an example. So now this is our example y equals to ab plus cd and I want you to realize using it 2 input NAND gate. Only 2 input NAND gate must be used. So how can we do this? So it's so simple. I want you to follow these steps. So first step is you need to complement whatever the expression you got. Okay, y bar. Okay, that's our expression. So complement it a b plus c d and whole bar. Okay, now to apply the De Morgan law theorem, what will it become? a b whole bar c d whole bar. Okay. This is what the expression will get when you apply De Morgan's theorem. But it's y bar. What happens when we apply one more complement to y bar? It will become y double complement which is nothing but equals to y. Okay. Now we need to apply one more complement over here so that we will get our ex expression back. Okay. Let's apply a complement. So when we apply a complement it is nothing equals to y. So as you can see over here, it is looking somewhat like NAND gates. See A dot B whole bar is an NAND gate, C dot D whole bar is an NAND gate and if this one expression and this one expression dot whole bar is another NAND gate. So we require total of 3 NAND gates. Let's see how it's done. So first I'm gonna draw a NAND gate for A dot B whole bar. So there you go, this is our NAND gate for A dot B whole bar. And I'm gonna draw for next one for C dot D whole bar. So we got our two variables. Now we need another NAND gate because this is one expression and this is one expression. They both are ANDed together. So one more NAND gate for you. Then there you go. This is our Y. So in three input, two input NAND gate, we require three NAND gates for doing this expression for two input only two input NAND gates so let's take one more example and understand this so I'm taking one more small example y equal to a plus bc so apply the same procedures first y bar then after y whole complement again so let's go for first complement it is a plus b c whole bar so apply De Morgan's law a bar dot bc whole bar okay now you got y bar to get y we need to complement it once more time there you go a bar dot bc bar whole bar now it looks like and gate 1 2 okay a bar will be implemented by using nand gate okay so first i'll be going with a bar so a bar with nand gate so this is our a bar and next is b dot c whole bar so it is b and c so these two are being given as input to another and nand gate so that's our y expression i hope you got it how to do it so i'm going to take one more example for you i'll be doing xor gate with nand and nor gate so guys this is the XOR expression so now let's apply our steps y bar so a b bar b dot a bar and whole bar now de Morgan's theorem a b bar into b dot a bar whole bar and whole bar okay now this is got y bar now we need to get y so complement it one more time okay now we got a b bar complement dot b dot a whole bar and that's whole complement so first and foremost point know that not gate is not available for us that b bar is not available for us 
understand this we need to implement that also using NAND gate so first I'll implement B bar and A bar there you go you got B bar from this one and I got A bar from this one okay now we need to multiply with A that is that is A will be given to a NAND gate with B bar and B will be given with an AND gate with A bar. So I got two expressions now. All we need to do is to give it to another NAND gate. As you can see this is one this is one element, this is one element given to an AND gate. So now I'll take one more NAND gate. So this is our expression for an XOR. But the problem here is this is not minimum number of minimum number of two input not gate. It's not minimum number of two input NAND gate, okay? We are having one more extra NAND weight. This expression can be simplified and we can have a less number of NAND gate. Let's see how this expression can be simplified now. So here is our expression. So here is our expressions. Now I want you to simplify it. So I will add two extra terms for it, A into A bar. That is nothing but zero plus B into B bar. This is also zero. So a into a bar is 0, b into b bar is 0. So our expression is similar and no, no problem over here. Now I will take a bar, a common from this. So what do you get? a into a bar plus b bar, okay? Now I'll take b for common from here plus b, that is a bar plus b bar, okay? Now we've got our expression in a, a different manner. Now I will, mm, I want you to apply the same steps, uh, two steps, that is taking complement and two complements, okay? Don't forget that complement one. So now I'm going to apply y complement for this expression. So what will the y complement be? a into a plus b bar plus b into a plus b bar whole bar. So I have applied a complement for it. So before going to De Morgan's law, as you can see, this can be turned into a De Morgan's law expression also. So a plus b, a bar plus b bar can be turned as a dot b whole bar. Okay. Okay. So I want you to make this change. So that is a dot b whole bar in both sides multiplied with b and a. That's plus and the whole bar expression. Okay. Now let's apply de Morgan's theorem for this equation that becomes a b whole bar into b a bar b whole bar okay this is y bar now we need to apply one more complement so that we can get our expression back so apply one more complement so how it becomes it becomes like two terms with an AND gate, okay, it is becoming like an AND gate as you can see that. So, this is the AND gate expression we got. So now we can draw our waveform, draw our gates so that it will be become easy for understanding. So first I'm gonna draw A dot B whole bar. So that is A into B. So both expressions, that is, we got A and B over here. So next, this is multiplied with A using an AND gate. Okay, there you got. And next, B, it is multiplied with B. Okay, it's given to another NAND gate. So we got our two expressions. Again, we need to AND these two expressions. Okay, so in previous case we got five NAND gates. Okay, and now we got four NAND gates. So we have reduced one NAND gates. That's that will affect a lot in design. So I want you to know that this is the better way to simplify your expression and then present it. We, simplifying expressions can reduce your gates. So now I want you to implement this using NOR gate. 